Do you like breakfasts? Do you like fried breakfasts? Do you like talking about yourself? Well, maybe a networking breakfast club is for you. Seriously though, maybe it is for you. Let's learn more in week 23 of becoming an electrician. Damn it, you're talking about food again. Of course, I was joking about networking groups. Quite literally, a place where a group of people may share a breakfast together and talk about themselves and their businesses with the aim of everybody's business thriving and possibly being less hungry. So, it sounds like there's no downsides, yeah? Well, there could be a few, depending on who you are. For one, you've got to be pretty confident to walk in a room and just get talking about yourself and who you are and what you're about. Even if you're confident, it might not be for you. You've then got to find the right networking group that's the correct fit for you. They're all going to be slightly different in their fit and feel. Then there's the challenge, which I think is going to be the biggest. Committing to every single meeting. It won't work so well, and you won't be viewed in the best light if you're not turning up to all the meetings. Personally, I'm not sure if networking meetings are the right fit for me but maybe I'll give them a go one day. It can be a great way to find other businesses that you wanna work with. Maybe your best relationship could be with somebody that you've met at one of these meetings. Networking is so much more than a breakfast group every two weeks. Think how many people and how many trades that you know. These are all your personal networking group. Your ability to widen your business with new clients, suppliers, and new partnerships. My training material this week helped me to see some of the areas that could help your networking and also to help networking groups go smoothly. The big takeaway was to consider my own personal image or your personal image. It's important to come across as clean, efficient and professional. And let's face it, we've all got different personalities which will appeal to different people but the need to get out your comfort zone was mentioned too. We can all find ourselves in our comfort zone and perhaps sometimes not pushing ourselves. What are you gonna achieve doing that? It was getting out of my comfort zone that pushed me to start these videos. I started off with my phone camera in my office. The talking was so uncomfortable and at the time I was kind of proud of it because it was an achievement. I then got on with the first few videos and to be honest, they're terrible quality too. They're still miles off what I'm hoping to achieve. The point being, if I hadn't have pushed myself to make these videos and put aside my worries of what people might think, then we wouldn't have this series showing off everything that a person goes through to become an electrician. Side note, I'm looking forward to sharing the first practical week in a few weeks time. The training material talked about standing in the mirror and seeing what you see and practicing a confident speech. Maybe this is my mirror. Maybe YouTube is my mirror. Anyway, until next time, we all have a network, even if we don't go to a networking group. We all have a personal image and we can decide what that is. So be confident, be professional. See you next time. Battery man out. Am I showing us on the recording? Woo hoo hoo.